Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin report for Thursday, July the 7th. This is Bitcoin on the uh, just on the intraday here, and this is the current low here. If the market was going to be bullish, we would be looking at this as wave one here, an A and a B and a C for wave two, then one and two and one and two, and continuing to build up. Now, I can see that because of the um, tech stocks, I can see um, the tech stocks moving uh, a bit higher in the next session. Um, and probably even into Friday morning. So I can see that we can follow this pathway back up into this space here, but it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, just because we take out this high here, I don't want to call it in, but what I would look for would be one, two, I would look for five waves coming up through here, if that was going to be the case. And then after that five waves, then we can look at being bullish. So if we got something like this here, then, this one, two, three, four, five, there, if that was even indeed the case, then <clears throat> we can go long at that point. But we have to be careful because we don't know if this is the low yet and it's, it's high risk at that point. So if we look at this, um, I think I might have it on 5k tick or something. I'm not sure if it was two or five, but yeah okay this is the the bearish count here so this was um looking at wave three here and looking at wave four <clears throat> and then looking down here for wave one and then an abc here for wave two um so that's possible at that point but what we may need to do um, is we may need to take this wave four and put it over here and look at this here, I'll just make it simple here, but look at this here as the A wave, the B wave, and a C wave up here. <clears throat> or we can look at it in, in a different way as well, but this still being the corrective uh, move here in, in this. Um, I think it's kind of interesting in that when we look at this particular pattern here as just as a general pattern just going onto the daily chart for a moment what we're seeing here this particular pattern here is very similar to this pattern here and you see that little high that it made here i think that's what could occur here so i think that and it would be in line with the tech stocks making a new high here and then then moving down at that point so we can also to the you know we can have the low sitting on this one here or we can put this over to here and then we would need to put this over to here to finish that off in in that in that regard and even this wave two here is a bit like i wouldn't pay too much attention to to that to be honest and um, we'll talk about that in the bigger picture uh, today as well so this move down here from from the top here um we can look at it as an A and a B and a C wave, and that's possible. And, you know, we could end up having an A, B, C just for the A wave here, then an A, B, C for B wave back up here, and then down for a C wave. Or we can have this down as one here, two here, three here, coming back for wave four here after this this, this gets settled down here, and um, go for like wave four here, and then go down for wave five, um, down into 10,000 or something. You know, that's that's all possible as well. It's not like we're seeing, um, when we have a look at the volume, you'll understand uh, a, a, a bit about the momentum of this situation. Um, also too, uh, this particular, yes, yeah, so I think this here is a bit of a reflection of this one here in a way. Um, also with, um, it's kind of interesting in that if we have a look at the, the, uh, the, the code total here, so total, so the total market cap, um, and this is on a one hour chart. So here we can look at this uh, here as wave four, and uh, we can count this down here as wave one and two, and one and two, and one and two here, and that would leave this as three, four, five, a third, fourth, and fifth, a third, and this is what I mean here, because it's, you know, I mean, we, yeah, uh, an ABC here, 
um, and then a correction. I mean, it may not even make it up here. You know, we may need to put this over here for total, but I just think there's a bit more to come in, in here for, for this. So I think there's another move up here before we see a move down. It's interesting looking at this little move here, I have to say, in terms of the futures market at the CME futures, and those derivatives are doing a lot of volume um, because this move down here took out this low here. So when I have a look at BTC at... Um, uh, CME futures here if I just bring this in still on the hourly chart here it's kind of uh, just interesting to look at not that it really gives us many answers but I like to look at different markets so we had the same movement up here as, as I think is what we're sort of getting now in the in, in, on the spot market um, but here we can call a low in here for this so because we've got this as one two three four five here then a correction and then down basically down for one, back for two, down for one, back for two, down for one in here. And you can see here that this is all different here because on this spot market, the 18th of June, I think it was somewhere, that was the spike low here. But the futures market is, um, because it just trades, you know, nine to five, uh, well, no, not doesn't trade over the weekends really, and it probably has an hour off here and there. So it doesn't sort of capture the whole thing, but sometimes it might give you a nice clean account. And in this case here, we can see that um, on this low here, it's quite easy to see that we've got one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. So we've got that impulse wave down here. So in this case, um, we can look at this five wave sequence from wave four over here down to here as being completed. So I just thought that was interesting, you know. Um, so we'll see how this continues to uh, build here. It's doing all the right things as it's come through the level and we need to see, basically it's just a game of support and resistance. And we just need to see, um, because this move up here really can be counted as corrective or impulsive, it, it's, it's too early to tell. And, um, but after this five waves here, we should have some sort of correction back up here, you know, that's the thing. But I can't see this going up without, without the, um, with the tech stocks, because they're still all connected at this point. So that's, um, another issue that I got. I, I just can't, I just can't ignore that, you know. So when we come here to the daily chart, um, what I wanted to do was, um, well, let's just have a look at the volume a little bit, shall we? Let's just, um, let's go to one year and check out that. So this is Bitcoin on, on yearly here. I think we might just put this on um, on log scale. Not that it's a big difference, but um, we go here, scale and log scale here. So let's just move that out of the way. So it's not that that I want, it's this one here. So it's interesting to see that, um, you know, obviously that's a, a big thing here, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's whatever that low is at 30,000 here, um, moving up to, to this level up here. You now there's a lot of volume coming into that at that point, but it just goes to show that um, like we're only halfway through this year here, um, so really for a trend to be a trend, you need increasing volume with the price moving up. But when you get a big volume bar like this in a small range, you know that, well, what's going on here? Well, what's going on here is that the sellers are coming in. So there's a mixture of buying and selling, and that's what creates that volume in the short range here. So you know at that point, reading that volume bar on that, that there's you know there's trouble in paradise at that point. So this move that's coming down through here, yeah, it's coming down. It's coming down hard and fast. And we're only halfway through the year through this bar. So um, this would be a downtrend if we got more volume on this bar than this bar here. But we won't know that until the end of the year, will we? You know, because if it comes down on lower volume than this bar here, then we know that it's corrective because corrective patterns are on lower volume. Let's go to the let's have a look at the quarterly here. <clears throat> well, this is sort of interesting too. So we can talk about the volume here. I think it's, it's you know, it's shooting the breeze, isn't it? So we can see this move up through here had was having increasing volume to 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 that bar there. And then what you can see here is the price is kind of 
going up, but it's also going sideways. But the volume's diminishing here. So that's divergence, and you'll see that in your indicators. But we can see this move here. This is the culprit here. Obviously, it's taken... Uh, it's, t it's taken the lows out. Uh, he, that one tried to move. That tried to move up on lower volume, so <laughs> that tells you that it's corrective rally. And I remember that because we we're telling folks to get out. If you want to get, if you don't want to go for the ride, this is the, those two places we can, could have gotten that out here. I didn't get out because I thought that. Um, well, I just really wanted to be in it for the experience. Actually, I know that sounds a bit stupid, but um, I thought, ah. Oh, you know, if I'm analysing this with Trading Lounge and, you know, um, it's nice to have a bit of skin in the games. It, it's, it's only four Bitcoin or something. So um, so I've taken a, a whack with everybody else and it's kind of nice to be in there on that side of it, I have to say. <laughs> you know, it's not something that you do all the time. Um, but, uh, yeah, so um, so this, this move down through here in this quarter was on increasing volume. So that's basically a downtrend at this point. And now we're seeing the market push up here, very small um, in, in this quarter, but we're obviously we're not finished in, in this quarter either at this point, you know. So, you know, if this market was going to be bullish, we would need to see increasing volume over the last quarter. If that moves up here and it's still on lower volume than this, then um, then it's corrective. So then we can go in further on that note and look at at the monthly. So there's a couple of things here. This is the log scale. Um, uh, first of all, um, I just drew a trend line through here to here to here. All right, so that gives it a bit of support there. I don't know. We've got support based on that trend line, and we've got. The 20,000 is major trading level two to me. So um, it's also obviously the old high over here. So there's a bit going on here in that um, uh, in that uh, in that space. A bit of support rather. That was just my, you know, just drawing a line in the sand, so to speak. But so now what we've got here, we can see we've got two bars on the monthly here, this one and this one, increasing volume with with lower closes. So. So that's important. So if this market was going to uh, to, to move up, uh, what, what we're in July now, we would need to see more volume in the move up here. If we see lower volume at the, over this bar at the end of the month, then we know that the move up is corrective. So that would be that and can we break that down to weekly and have a look actually the other thing that well we can see here now um you can see these bars here this one two three bars here it's one two three that these this little group here so this one had this one here oh it's not the um let me just let's just get this into perspective shall we let's just land those little guys so that one let's just widen that up that's that one there right okay so that makes a bit more sense to me so this strong bar that's come down here that's on increasing volume so <clears throat> So uh, even this pattern going sideways across here was on lower volume, right? Diminishing volume. So you know that it's corrective. And the same thing here as well. This is diminishing volume. Obviously, the month is not finished here yet, and it might pop up there, and that would change the story. But it's not there yet. Um, it's giving, what is it now? It's only the seventh, and it's got good volume at this point. So that's good. We had that big order come in, didn't we? With that guy did that single order. Um, so that, that spiked it up a little bit, but we'll see what the follow through on this. So we're basically breaking down the volume. So, so far we can see that even this bar here that went up here is on lower volume than the previous bar. So it tells me that this is corrective. Then this bar, but this bar here that came down, that tells me because it was on lower volume than this one, it also tells me it's corrective as well. So we're in a corrective pattern here as such. Um, it doesn't mean we, you know, we can still push up and down, but this is reading the, like, the pulse of the market, if, if you will, in that, in that regard. So we'll keep an eye on, on that situation. Can we go to the daily and just have a look at the daily, just break that down a bit further here. So, so in this trend here, we can see that we've got increasing volume. So that's good, isn't it? You know? We're going to see less volume because the 20 here is going to really sort of 
well, it already has pulled the market to itself over here. So we're expecting tech stocks like Apple to to push up for another session or two. So I think that we can push up here as well. Um, obviously, if you know any of these lows here are breached, not so much that one, but these any of these three here at this stage, if they're breached, then we'll be coming down at that um, at that point. I also wanted to have a look at the um, indicator, the stochastics here as well. So on the monthly chart here, we can see that. Um, not that the price is important at this point, but um, we can see that the you know it's coming right down to where it's not you know it, it's it's it, the indicators are lagging of course because they're the three thousand of them or whatever they are all based most of them are based off price and volume so um, it's it's lagging and uh, uh, still but it's still quite low isn't it you know compared to over here. And when you look at that rainbow chart as well, that's screaming a buy as well at the moment. But, you know, they're just general general indicators. So we need to narrow it down a lot better than, than that. But um, it is, is quite sort of interesting. One of the other points too that uh, folks are looking at is that they're looking at this as being wave one here and two here and then one, two, three, four, five up here for the third wave and back for the fourth wave here. So uh, as a fourth wave here, it hasn't overlapped wave one, so that's okay. But really when you take this distance here, and it doesn't matter if you do it in log scale or just linear scale, if you take that low and that high there, the, th the wave four should be 38.2%, then that's gonna be up here somewhere. So, um, so if we take that low here, for example, um, the 38.2% is here and we're way down at the 78.6. So even if I put it on a linear scale, it doesn't make, doesn't make any difference in that, in terms of the mathematics of it at that point, you know, we're still down here. So, you know, can, can that be accepted as a, um, as a wave four, you know, normally you use log scale at primary degree and above, um, so you're kind of on the borderline of using it at this particular stage, but you know, I, it's it's a pretty long shot to call that a wave four in in here at that point. I have to say, but anyway, that doesn't as here nor there. So anyway, the stochastics is down here, so that's kind of interesting. We've got the old high here as as support. That's all sort of good. We can count an A and a B and a C wave down here. The C wave here. Um, came down rather fast rather than being on more of an angle, you know, so that's um, that's a bit sort of how do you do? Um, so, you know, we can be certainly be in, you know, things can reverse quite quickly, of course, um, but there's a lot of strength here. We just had a look at all the volume that was coming down into that. We haven't really seen, we are starting to see a little bit of volume creep in over the last uh, week. Um, will that be enough to change the game? Um, it's pretty obvious that we had that trend line coming through here and we've got this old high here and there's a, you know, there's a bit of activity here and people are hopeful and all the rest of it. But I think that we need to allow it to play out before we make any sort of uh, decisions on it because I can see that, you know, I can see both sides of the coin. I just can't confirm either of them, you know, and that's okay too, you know. Um, you don't know everything all the time, um, you know, you can, yeah, so that's all good. On the weekly chart here, just uh, shooting the breeze here a bit. So we've had a couple of little humps in here as we've had this little hump here. So we're sort of down here and the stochastics is sort of waiting down here. So it looks kind of hopeful and, you know, I've had this as an A and a B and a C for wave two. I just don't know if that wave C should be sitting on. If I look at the futures market, I'd be happy to put it there, but I'm not that, not I, I can't confirm it on the spot market just yet, you know. And being at the 78.6, which is the, um, well, pretty close to that between the 78.6 and the 61.8%, um, that's fine for a wave two, isn't it? You know, the wave twos are simple and sharp. And it's not to say that this market can't come down a lot further and all the rest of it, you know, where really everybody um, would be in the guessing game at, at this particular point there. So um, I, I couldn't put any trust into anything at the moment. And um yeah, so, you know, on this weekly here, we see these this whole move up here and, you know, with lesser volume. So it's telling us it's corrective, um, but we, on the daily, it's telling us, you know, we can go higher on this 
for on, on that um, let's go to the daily volume here for a bit so we've got good volume coming coming in here but don't forget it needs to continue to increase if that's going to, to go to the upside so we'll keep an eye on all of this and um, yeah so I'll just leave it there for today I just wanted to have a bit of a general chat about it I don't really have any answers about anything at this particular point in time um, I'm still looking for another I'm you know I'm <laughs> I'm really just looking for another um, uh, low in tech stocks and if I could just bring Apple across here because you know it's part of that tech stock thing we're looking for an A wave here a B wave here and a C wave up here so we've got a couple of more highs to make over here and I think that's what um, what Bitcoin's got to do. So once we have these clear five waves in here, then we'll have an ABC back. If we have an ABC back and then we take out the top of the B wave there, well, we're happy to be long and we'll do the same on Bitcoin as well. But we have to wait for that to fall into... Um, uh, fall into uh, fall into place at this uh, at this stage. So the bigger picture for this um, is just so you've got some general idea about this here. This market, I feel bullish about this. This is a, a, a bullish corrective count. Um, I know that you might not be interested in stocks, but this that's the top of the market this move down here is in three waves so that being in three waves tells me that the market is corrective okay so all of this here is part of is all connected to everything's connected to each other of course and that's a good thing about Elliot it just links the you know the wave structure links all the different structures they link them all together nothing else does that that's the beauty of it all not always we could work work it out it is subjective to a point but there are times when it can only be things and when you look at that first move down here that's in that's in five waves and that's in five waves so that's an abc pattern so that's corrective so all of this is corrective as well so it's not the end of the world so if we look at it as an a wave to here then an a and a b probably wxy in that and then a c wave here for the b wave and then we're looking down here just counting down as, as one and two here and then one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave going back for the fourth wave and the fifth wave so I'm thinking Bitcoin's got to do the same here and then they'll all everything everything will finish off here well even when it gets to this point we still need to confirm that it's going up we still need to do that work you know so yeah anyway that's what I'm sort of thinking and that's where I think Bitcoin is and we still got um, we still got to move up here a little bit further you know we've taken the little top out here so we just got a I don't know we've got probably 147 here I think that I looked at it for some particular oh yeah the wave for 38.2 percent was around the 147 but 45 to 48 um you know using the trading levels in there anyway that's sort of where I think we are and I think that's where sort of you know the whole technology thing is really and you know Apple's got the you know the most money in the bank um so it's a good chart to uh to um to compare things a little bit all righty i'm going to uh leave it at that so the end of the day we just need more time you know just more time i'm not seeing you know strong volume support this low at this stage i'm technically i can see the twenty thousand. i can draw a trend line through and hold it and i think we'll be here for a while but i think it's just the same as this pattern up here and we'll get that little spike up here we'll get a little spike up here that will suck the bulls in and then roll over so anyway we'll see we'll see we're not we're not ready to make a move yet Alrighty, cool cheers